So if you're seeing this, you're probably already aware, but I am consulting with Bioware on Dragon Age Dreadwolf. I'm not coming back into an executive producer position. They already have strong leadership in place. I'm coming back to use my experience on the first three games in the franchise to make sure that this game is respectful of that legacy and integrates into the franchise effectively. There are lots of people already in place who have worked on previous Dragon Age games, but my experience, my perspective is unique, and that's what I'm going to be bringing to bear in order to help them out. I'm really excited to see where Dragon Age has gone since I left Bioware and to see what the team has been up to. So what's happening with the channel? The channel is not shutting down, but this will be taking up a fair bit of my time. As a result, I'm going to be moving from two videos a week down to one video a week. This is something that I am reluctant to do, but I think I'm better off biting this bullet now and getting ahead of it before it becomes a crisis situation. I'd already moved away from doing live streams because of where they were positioned in the week and their interference with other things I needed to be doing at the same time. I'll be looking for an opportunity to reintroduce live streams if I can figure it out. We're at the very beginning of Dragon Age 2. We will definitely get back to it at some point, but for now, we will be moving from live streams and two videos a week to just a single video a week, at least for the time being. There's also no plan to do any Dragon Age Dreadwolf content, so don't suddenly expect to see a ton of that on the channel either. Bioware doesn't get editorial control over the channel or anything like that, so the content that you're going to see is going to remain the same. Indeed, we actually have a fairly hefty backlog of videos waiting to go at this point, so a lot of the videos you're going to see for the next little while were actually recorded before this relationship even started. Is there a possibility that I will self-censor myself because I am working with a partner? That's pretty likely, actually, but there's nothing in place, there's no contract that gives Bioware the right to control what's going up on the channel. But there's a very high probability that I will moderate some of my thinking simply due to perspective. Like I said, I'm really excited to, to see what the team has been up to on Dragon Age Dreadwolf and to help make this a really great entry into the franchise. Those of you who are paying attention will notice that I'm already starting to fall back into a more formal way of talking about the game. When I was the executive producer on Dragon Age Inquisition, Whenever I was talking about the game outside of the team itself, I would always say Dragon Age Inquisition, even kind of silently saying the colon out loud. You notice that I'm already starting to do that here, Dragon Age Dreadwolf. When I'm making videos for the channel, I'm more informal. I say DA or Dreadwolf. But when I am speaking about the game in a more official capacity, I just have a tendency to fall into that more formal language. So that's a pretty strong indication that my brain is already pivoting to this taking up a bigger part of my thought process. Special thanks to my members. I realize that this is a change in our relationship. I hope you'll stick with me, but I would certainly understand if you don't. If you are interested in becoming a member, there is a link to that down in the description. I am going to say that I'm probably not going to answer any questions in the comments, but I will pass them along. So if you have questions about Dragon Age Dreadwolf that you feel need to be answered, this is probably not the best place to ask, but go ahead and ask and I will pass them along if I feel that is appropriate. Hopefully you will stick with me through this journey. I will see you again soon. Thank you.